Hello space fans and welcome to Your Sky Tonight for July 25th, 2017. My name is Tony Darnell from deepastronomy.space. Alright everybody, for tonight I want the first thing I want to do again as we did last, last night is to look low in the west after sunset. Yesterday I told you that the planet Mercury makes its appearance as a bright dot that does not twinkle. But tonight we'll also see the moon as a very thin crescent just after sunset. But what's even more exciting is we have an unexpected visitor this evening. If you look low in the western sky at about 10 minutes after 9 eastern time, you may see a very bright dot appearing over the western horizon. And that dot is the venerable Hubble Space Telescope. And it will be making appearance this evening for a very short time, for about five minutes tonight. And low in the sky, it'll be low in the southern sky, you'll be able to see one of the most important instruments ever launched. The Hubble Space Telescope has given us views of the universe that has completely changed our view of our place within, within the cosmos. And I love this telescope, and I'm thrilled that I'll be able to see it tonight. And according to Stellarium, it won't be up for very long. It will set again approximately five minutes later, and it will go down at about 9.16, 9.17 p.m. Eastern Time. But it will be there, and that'll be amazing to see. Okay, so many of you have been asking to see some of the deep sky objects in the night sky. And tonight, I want to point you to something that is very high overhead. And it's in the constellation known as Hercules. And inside the constellation, now the constellation of Hercules is one of the more difficult to try and find with your naked eye. So I would encourage you to get a planisphere or maybe a, a, a smartphone app and take a look and try to find the, the constellation with some help. Uh, this most prominent feature is a sort of parallelogram or a off, an off-center off circle, an off-center square, forgive me. And it is um, very high in the sky tonight and inside of this constellation is a very bright globular cluster that you can't really really see with your naked eye. You can see it on a if your skies are very, very clear and dark. But most of you will need at least a pair of binoculars to see it. And this is a grouping of stars that is called a globular cluster. These are composed of very old stars. And this particular cluster is also called the Great Globular Cluster in Hercules and it contains roughly 300,000 stars. Now it was discovered in 1714 by Edmund Halley and it was part of the Messier catalog, number 13 to be precise, by Charles Messier. And the Messier catalog lists many nebulae and galaxies that were found uh, in the 1700s by Charles Messier. It's barely visible with the naked eye, but you can see it in small telescopes and basically it appears as a smudge or a circular blob, I guess, in the night sky. It's 145 light years in diameter and it is roughly 25,000 light years away. And it is one of the more prominent deep sky objects that we can see. Globular clusters are very old. The stars within them are ready to die. No new stars are being born here. So if you get a chance tonight, go outside, look almost straight overhead, and try to find the constellation Hercules, and look for this ancient cluster of stars embedded deep within. Well, that is it for this evening, space fans. Thank you all for listening, and as always, keep looking up.